Hello and welcome, my name is Winfried Klum. Today I will show you how to download and install the GEM server. Just go to the GEM SE homepage and click on the GEM server link. You will be forwarded to the SourceForge download page. From here you can download the newest server versions. The Windows installer comes with a full package of server, audio player and a mobile client installer. From here we are able to save the installer to our download directory on the PC. The download size is about 3.5 megabytes. We are starting the installer now. As I already mentioned, it is a full installation package. So here you have to agree to the GPL license agreement. Then you can choose the installation directory, which is by default named GEMSE. And after successful installation you will see the welcome info page. In order to run the server installation you will need Java 6 or higher. You can download the latest Java runtime environment from java.com. So we close now the installer and we open the program menu. Under the Jam SE menu you can see the different application menus for server, player and installer. And we've just started the mobile application installer. From here you can choose your mobile phone manufacturer. On the next visit page you can choose your phone model. So in our case we choose the Nokia 5500 model. And on the next screen we are able to choose the file or Bluetooth deployment feature. Here we choose the, the Bluetooth deployment because then we don't need a cable for file transfer. If we click next the Bluetooth deployer will open up. From here we are able to deploy to known devices or we can search for new devices. So now the Bluetooth deployer is searching for new and connected devices. This will take some time. We are choosing the Nokia 5500 model and we just have to press the send button to transfer Jam SE to our mobile phone. On some devices you will see a pop-up menu asking you if you want to allow file transfer. So just press yes. So that's it. We can now close the Bluetooth deployer and the mobile installer application. And now we start the Jam server from the application menu. So in the Jam SE menu you can see all the applications, the server, the audio player and the mobile installer. The server itself shows up as an icon in the system tray. 
and it automatically starts the audio player application. And if we right click on the server icon, we can choose setup from the pop up menu. In the directories tab, we can add directories containing music files, so we are able to browse these directories from our mobile phone. So I will just select one directory. In the player tab we can see the selected audio player. For now only JLGUI is supported, but it's planned to support other players too. In the device tab you can see all devices that are registered with the server. This is a security feature to control access to your PC. If you like you can disable the security feature, but this makes your PC vulnerable. So we just jump into the connect info dialog that is activated by a connect request from a non-registered device. So here we will allow access and if the add box is ticked, our device will be added to the known devices list and the next time you won't see the security dialog again. And as you can see now in the playlist window, we just started to add music files using our mobile phone application.